I've got a crafty TikTok try for you guys today. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I am a fairly crafty person and occasionally I do crafts on this channel. If you are looking for more like straightforward tutorials, I have a whole channel for that. It's called Lima Bean Crafting. Feel free to check it out. But on today's video, I'm trying a technique that I saw on TikTok and um, I think it's it's not necessarily like a big technique, but it's just something that you can do instead of using sandpaper. So we're gonna give it a try today. We're doing, I think it's called decoupage, which is where you put a layer of like glue or watered down glue, which is called Mod Podge down, and then you lay like a napkin on top and then cover it and have that be like your decoration. So I'm gonna walk you through like what I did to make this little, owl box for Aubrey for her little treasures. It actually is really cute. It like opens up in the back and so you can store stuff inside. You can even put like little lights in here too to make like the little holes glow up. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I made this. Obviously I'm showing it to you after the fact because I wanted to like capture all of the footage first, but yeah, let's walk through the steps. To make this little craft, I picked up one of these napkin packs this cute Halloween die cut DIY box, and some Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree. I also used this Martha Stewart wood stain that I've almost completely used up, and this acrylic paint in the color egg from Target. First up, I trimmed out the design of the napkin that I wanted to transfer to the box, and separated the layers so that I was only left with one layer that had the design on it. Next, I stained almost every side of the box except for the front using a bit of watered-down wood stain. Then, I painted the front using the egg-colored paint. When that dried, I covered the front with a layer of Mod Podge, and while that was still wet, I laid the napkin design side up on the Mod Podge, trying to center the flower in the middle of the rectangle. I made sure to flatten out the napkin from the center of the design out to the edges of the box. When the Mod Podge layer had almost fully dried, I covered the top of the napkin with another layer of Mod Podge to secure it to the box. Once the box was completely dry, I trimmed the napkin leaving about a half inch border around the box and lit this portion on fire. This was the technique that I saw on TikTok. As I was watching the TikTok video, it looked like the flame would burn the napkin faster than it actually did. So that's why I'm showing you the burn in real time. That was so cool. <laughs> this method didn't give a super flush finish with the box. That is, there were still little bits of ragged napkin that remained hanging off the side of the box, although not overly visible. To get rid of the bits of napkin that covered the holes of the owl design, I first poked some holes through the back of the design and lit the ripped pieces on fire. I was hoping these pieces of napkin would burn all the way until the wooden part of the design, but unfortunately they did not. So I decided to break out the sandpaper and sanded down the sides of the box along with the inner pieces of the design. For the extra small parts of the design, I used an X-Acto knife to trim off the unwanted pieces of napkin. So obviously making it with this very detailed face was a little difficult. Using the sandpaper in the little crevices turned out to be a struggle, as well as the X-Acto knife. I tried to burn some of it away and it made like the bottom part a little dark, but it gives it that rustic look, you know? So it's not the end of the world. If I were to do this again in the future, maybe I would just paint the front and do the same technique, but on the sides, I think it would make it a whole lot easier. But overall, it was fun to watch like the napkin burn away. And I still ended up sanding down the sides. So I guess, if you want to not have to cut super close to the edges or sand away like large chunks of napkin or fabric or something, this is a good technique to at least get most of it gone so that you can just sand a little bit away and then it's easy. But yeah, overall, I think I'd try it again. I think I'd do it. I think I have another project where I want to do that craft. So we're going to give that a try. But I don't know. Hopefully Aubrey will like her little gift and I'll include her accepting it in today's video. 
This is your surprise. What is it? You can put your treasures inside. Let me show you, okay? <laughs> All right, ready? All right, so we just pull this up. And you can put your treasures inside your, your box. <laughs> That's nice, Mommy. And then you can put it back in. You might need some help. Show me your box. How does it work? No, this is a baby's home. Flip right around his home and flip and speak up. But anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to check out my playlist where I show you guys all of the things that I've tried on TikTok. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it or a thumbs down if that's how you feel about it. That's fine too. It actually helps me out. And subscribe if you guys are new. I would love to have you stick around and I'll catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.